Okay guys, welcome to Shadowrun Returns. Thought I'd start a new game here. <clears throat> I've had this sitting on my computer for a bit, so I figured it was time to give it a shot. Uh, so, yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. I don't know much about Shadow... I don't really know anything about the Shadowrun universe. Um, so, there might be parts of this game that maybe I don't understand, but... Uh, I'm sure we can muddle through anyway, so yeah, let's get started. The Dead Man Switch. Let's see. In the urban sprawl of the Seattle Metroplex, the search for a mysterious killer sets you on a trail that leads from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful megacorps. You will need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners, and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. Find more stories. What does that do? Oh, that just brings us up. Yeah, and I know there's the expansion, and uh, yeah, if that looks good, or if this game looks good, then uh, I definitely plan on picking up the expansion at some point as well. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's stick with normal since I really don't know much about this game at all. I mean, I know it's turn-based combat, similar to XCOM. I would assume, I don't know exactly. I know I had a shitload of fun in XCOM. That game was just awesome. So, uh, I have high hopes for this one. Uh, let's see, gender, male or female. Uh, I know, I always f play female characters for some reason, so we'll go with that, I guess. Let's see, humans. Uh, humans were the only race on Earth until the Awakening in 2012. Now they find themselves the definition of average or even normal. They are still the most populous race in the world. I assume that means in the world. And thus control many of the most powerful, moneyed, and important positions in society. All humans have plus three karma. <laughs> That's my friend Devin. He is uh, chatty sometimes. Uh, okay, where was I? Uh, all humans have plus three karma. Start the game. Okay, what about elves? <laughs> I apologize for him. Uh, I should... But I'm wearing a mother fucking blanket. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just try to ignore him. I'm going to. Let's see. Many people, especially other metahuman races, see elves as the most un as the most fortunate metahumans. They are more attractive and socially acceptable than the other metahumans. Elves are taller. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. He's ruining my let's play here. All right. Um. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, we're good friends. Uh, let's see. Alright, they are more attractive and socially acceptable than the other metahumans. Elves are taller than humans, but have more slender build. <laughs> their hair is usually thicker, longer, more luxurious than average, and their ears come to a point. <laughs> All elves have plus one to charisma. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dwarf. Dwarfs are the shortest of the metahuman races. To compensate their torsos and shoulders are wider than their size would indicate. Thus their strength is equal to and sometimes greater than the larger races. Side effect of their metahuman nature is increased resistance to pathogens and magics and magic that attacks from within. Plus all oh, dwarfs have plus one to willpower. Orcs are the fastest breeding race and, and now are second only to humans in world population. Their size leads to an intimidating silhouette and a body that can take more physical damage than the average. Orcs have pointed ears and intimidating tusks and teeth. All orcs have plus one to body. Trolls are the largest metahuman race. Heavy prejudice against them has led people to assume trolls have lowered intelligence, but in reality there is no proof to this. Trolls have pointed ears, intimidating teeth or tusks, and many have horn-like growths that other metahumans do not manifest. 
Ultras have plus one to body and plus one to strength. That's nice. Um, I didn't know there were dwarves. I might switch that. I love dwarves. Let's see. Street Samurai is a freelance operative who follows a code of street honor. They are learned learned in the ways of the traditional samurai warrior and the practices of modern combat. Samurai sell their skills for profit and work to take out the dishonorable scum that seem to breed in the urban sprawl. Mages specialize in the casting of spells, but that doesn't mean they can't shoot guns as well. Rather, magic is the center of their life. Their spells reflect a pure balance of the monosphere, cover a wide range of magical effects, and offensive damage attacks to character augmentation or degradation spells to healing. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'm not going to be a mage. Deckers are a cyber deck to jack into the... Deckers use a cyber deck to jack into the Matrix. The worldwide information grid and computer network. By projecting their minds into the electronic world, Deckers can find secrets others keep hidden away. They use programs and expert systems to fight off the protections that mega corporations place in their way. Shamans believe that their magic comes from a great totem spirit that guides their life path. Bear, cat, coyote, eagle, or raccoon. Really? Raccoon? Shamans' relationships with their totems allow them to summon spirits and command them to do their bidding. Shamans have the skill to conjure spells that mages cannot. Riggers use cybertech to jack their mind into and control small robot-like vehicles called drones. Riggers use their rigging abilities to provide surveillance, support, and extra firepower when required. Adepts are magically active characters who focus their magic internally to develop to their utmost potential, physically, mentally, and spiritually. As adepts unlock new abilities, they become honed physical machines, using their magic to enhance their close combat abilities. Uh, you feel comfortable with the way characters are built in Shadowrun, you may create your own character. Uh, I don't know about that. <clears throat> uh, let's go with Street Samurai. Why not? What are these? Oh, pre-made characters. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh, that seems like a good place to start. Can you see more of him? He does not have a mustache. Oh, this is skin color, okay. Uh, yeah, that's good. Bald. Whoa, crazy hair. Mohawk. Yeah, we can go with that. Uh, let's see, black hair. Yeah, black hair is probably fine. Don't think we need pink. Beard. <laughs> I kind of like that one. Alright, yeah, we can go with that one. Also black. No horns. Alright. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma equal to the next increment of that rating. Thus, improving your body from 4 to 5 requires you to spend 5 karma points. You have some karma available now to customize your character. Okay. Body determines resistance to physical damage. Increases chance to take reduced damage from attacks. For every point of body, hit points is decreased by 10. That sounds very useful. Used to calculate the chance to hit in ranged combat. Reduces the chance to be hit by enemy physical attacks. <laughs> Let's see. Ranged combat. Pistol. SMG. Shotgun. Rifle. Dodge. 
used to calculate the chance to hit with melee or throwing weapons also determines how far a grenade can be thrown. Oh. Let's see. Main component used to calculate the chance to hit with melee weapons in unarmed combat. Increases the skill, unlocks special abilities. That seems like something I would need to use. Weapons, intelligence, no no on willpower uh, say no to charisma so we should focus on body and strength um, hmm is that how many karma points it takes oh shit yeah it does okay so let's try uh, hmm I really don't know Let's see, we'll add one to c close combat. Increases the chance for greater than normal damage when using melee weapons to attack. Okay. Um, hmm. Shit, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to be using, so I don't know how much of this is actually... You know what? Let's just... Let's just do that. And then we can see, I guess, what we find item-wise go from there. Confirm. All right. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. Choosing an etiquette does not cost karma. What does... I don't know what any of these mean. Uh, well, we're a street samurai, so I guess maybe we should go with street. I have no idea. We'll go with street. Why not? Many runners use a street name, handle, or working name. Names like Half Jack or Lady Z. Others stick with their given name or adopt a nickname. Please choose a name for your character. Deergar is the name of my dwarf from World of Warcraft, and I loved him, so I'm going to stick with that. Name worked well for me. 